we're looking at the Gizmo Prime, a three axis, fully stabilized uh, gyro head with 360 degrees roll, which makes it kind of unusual. The weight of the head is 23 kilos and for full 360 degree roll, um, that's quite a, a competitive uh, weight considering that the camera load with the lens can be up to 35 kilos. The fact that it's also water resistant, it won't take complete submersion, but it is very, very tolerant to all sorts of environments. That is uh, what we consider quite an unusual feature. Um, also, the fact that it has complete digital stabilization and there are only 10 adjustments needed on each axis, 10 choices uh, with presets that allow the operator 99% uh, of the time just to use the same settings. So it is rare for us to change the settings regardless of the load. It has the ability to balance the load and move the gearboxes um, in all directions uh, through simple slides allowing us to get the center of gravity just where we want it. It also converts from three axis to two axis. This side section comes off and a conventional tilt plate goes on there. The stability of the system and the rigidity of the system is also something we're very proud of. The fact that we can put in the cage something like an Alexa 65 and still balance it even if it doesn't have a lens on it. So even though it's a, a, a modest size, um, it's like a, a, a mouse on steroids. It's very powerful and it punches above its weight. The stabilization itself also has something called crosstalk compensation. One of the problems that will often happen on a three axis head is that the roll, when you start to pan, will actually move off of its line because of the crosstalk to the rate sensors or gyros. This doesn't happen like that at all. You'll see we're still stabilized and the roll is quite solid. It also means that when the head has swung out at an angle of up to 45 degrees, the pan will still be horizontal and the tilt will still be vertical, keeping the operator in line with the horizon um, at all times, regardless of the angle of the head. Once we went to 360 degrees roll, we found we had an unusual problem in that once the camera was beyond 90 degrees, it was very difficult to track. And so we've added another feature to the system so that um, we now roll the monitor as well as the camera. And so tracking the object now becomes much easier for the operator. The tech who controls the stabilization often gets in the way of the operator and reaches across to make small adjustments. So what we've now done is we've added an app that allows the technician to work in such a way that the operator is unaware of what he's doing and um, both people are then kept much happier. The operator, because he's not being constantly annoyed by an operator leaning across and adjusting and uh, tweaking uh, the stabilization. And the technician, because he now can do his work uh, far away from the operator. And we can also reprogram the software in both the head and in the control panel. The system also has uh, radio control, pan bar and hand wheels. It's fully programmable and it will also communicate down a fibre optic interface. Thank you.